Hello friends, this is Onyx Food Hill. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make sesame chicken. And here I've got my chicken thigh cut into bit sizes. So I'm going to start by marinating it with half teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And lastly, half a teaspoon of salt. After adding all my seasoning to the chicken, I'm just going to go in with one lightly beaten egg. And I'm just going to use a spoon to mix everything and make sure it's nicely combined. And then I'm going to leave the chicken to rest for 30 minutes for it to absorb all the seasonings. After resting my chicken for 30 minutes, I'm just going to go in with 3 tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm just going to mix this and make sure it combines well with the chicken. And now the chicken is well coated, so I'll set this aside. And I have my pan here placed on a stove top. To it, I'm going to be adding half cup of cooking oil. And once the oil is heated, I'm just going to transfer my coated chicken into it. Once you fry one side and it's golden, be sure to flip to the next side and fry as well. This might take about 6 to 8 minutes for the chicken to fry properly and be sure not to overcrowd your pan. Once my chicken is golden brown, I'm just going to take them from the oil. Once I have finished browning my chicken in the oil, I'm going to place the same pan on here. To the pan, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. And to the oil, I'm going to be adding in 2 minced garlic cloves. I'll go in with 2 tablespoons of rice vinegar. 2 tablespoons of tomato sauce. You can use ketchup. tablespoons of sweet chili sauce, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of white sugar, 1 and a half tablespoons of honey, 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. And I'm just going to stay and make sure it combines. So I'll be cooking the sauce on medium heat. I'm just going to be stirring the sauce until it starts to thicken. Once it has started to thicken up, I'm just going to dissolve a tablespoon of cornstarch with three tablespoons of water. And then I'm going to be adding it to the sauce. And I'm going to mix this and make sure it's properly incorporated. Okay. After stirring this and everything has blended and I have a very beautiful consistency like this, I'm just going to go in with my spring onion, just about a tablespoon of this. And I'll go in with two tablespoons of sesame seeds. And I also bring in my fried chicken. Now I'm just going to gently stir this and make sure the sauce and the chicken are well coated together. And 
after stirring this, I'm just going to cook for two minutes. And I'll come back to this and stir. You can test and adjust for salt and pepper. At this point, I love the smell and the taste of this sesame chicken. It smells really good and it tastes really delicious. Okay, I hope you can see this. Alright, so I'm just going to turn off my heat. So guys, your sesame chicken is ready. This sesame chicken recipe is really delicious. It goes well with rice, with spaghetti, and with any other food. You can easily enjoy it the way it is. This is the best sesame chicken recipe you will ever make. And I'm just going to sprinkle more toasted sesame seed over the chicken. And then I'm just going to top it up with some spring onions. So guys, I really hope you love this sesame chicken recipe. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And you can share this video with your friends. Thank you guys. Until next time, I'd love to see you soon.